Hey everybody! In this video, we're looking at the two different ways that species can reproduce. So this is really important because every different species has to reproduce, otherwise the species will go extinct. So humans need to do it, plants need to do it, bacteria, and every other animal, every living thing reproduces. Remember, that's one of the key points that makes something living. It has to be able to reproduce. So all species reproduce so that they can continue their species' survival. And what's happened is there are actually two different ways for species to reproduce. These are called asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. And we'll look at these two now and compare the similarities and the differences. So asexual reproduction we'll look at first because it's the most simple one. And what asexual reproduction, really simply, it's just cloning. So when a species does asexual reproduction, it just makes copies of itself. So one individual doesn't have to breed with another one. It can just grow new versions of itself that are exactly the same, that are identical, and they'll grow off into adults that are exactly the same. So you can see here, this plant here, it's growing what's called a plantlet on the edge of its leaf here, and it's growing lots of them. It's growing these little baby plantlets, and you can see these plantlets already have roots on them as well, and these plantlets are about to drop off the leaf, they'll fall onto the ground, and they'll start to grow into new plants, which will be an exact copy or a clone of that individual. And another way that um, bacteria use asexual reproduction is they just have their one bacterial cell and then that cell splits in two and suddenly there's two bacterial cells. So there's no sexual reproduction involved, they just um, split in, they divide into two um, and then those two bacteria go off and they do their own thing after that. And that process is actually called binary fission. You don't need to know the names of these, but it's just another really interesting way that species can reproduce them, themselves. So overall, asexual reproduction, it's cloning, where an individual makes an exact copy of itself. Of itself. Which seems really weird, because as humans, we definitely don't do asexual reproduction. Imagine if you could just copy yourself, and you could grow lots and lots of versions of you. It's just, it doesn't seem right. But for other species, it's really normal. Um, and like I said, it's really common for some plants. Um, and it's true for all bacteria as well. And some fungi and other species um, do it as well. And actually a couple of animal species can. Not many, but some can. Okay, so the other type of reproduction, which is the most normal because this is how we reproduce as humans, obviously, this is sexual reproduction. So we're not going into the details, obviously, but the overview of sexual reproduction is that one individual um, reproduces with another. And so what you're really doing is you're combining your genetic information together. So two individuals, they get together when they reproduce, obviously. Two individuals, they get together, and what they're really doing is they're combining that genetic material to make a new child. to make a new or a different child. So the child is a combination of its two parents, but it's not the same as either one of them. All right. And the key process in sexual reproduction is when the sperm cell meets the egg cell. It's 
Sperm cells come from the males, obviously. Egg cells come from a biological female. And then when they combine together, they can start to grow that new child. And so that process is called fertilization. So pretty much all animals do it. And pretty much all plants use sexual reproduction as well, particularly flowering plants. All right, so that's the two different ways that species can actually reproduce.